Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to episode number two. We are at day three of one year of gains. Today's workout is going to be a back workout. We're going to hit some deadlifts. Now deadlifts is something I haven't actually hit in a long time, but I have done quite a bit of them in the past. Um, they are definitely an exercise that works the back, it works the traps, the lats, the rhomboids, it works absolutely everything. If you go hard, if you go ham on deadlifts, you're going to have a sore back the next day, a good soreness, you know, a tight muscle soreness. But, um, you know, I can go, I can do as many rows as I want, I can do as many lat pull downs as I want, and I will never get the muscle soreness that I do off a good, you know, session of deadlifts. So today, the first exercise is going to be deadlifts. I don't know how many sets or how many reps I'm going to get. I haven't hit them in a long time. But I do enjoy them and I know it's going to be an epic workout. Now that I'm in a surplus, um, you know, I'm going to want to hit these compound lifts, you know, these big compound lifts, the squat, the deadlift, the bench press, the overhead press, etc, etc. So today's workout is back, like I said. I may throw in some rear delts and some biceps to make it a, a proper pull workout, uh, but we'll see about that. Usually I'll spend at least 30, 40 minutes doing deadlifts. Um, after that, you know, everything is just icing on the cake. So, with that being said guys, I'm going to go downstairs, it's about 7 in the morning. i finished my third night shift in a row. Uh, feeling a little bit wrecked, but um, that's nothing caffeine can't fix. So I'm going to go downstairs, make a pre-workout drink, and I will see you guys at the gym. Peace. Can I be on camera too? You wanna get famous? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm gonna say yet, man. Actually, I probably shouldn't. Not while you're on camera, because then your fans will probably turn into mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't look small. Exactly. Oh, what am I gonna say this morning? It's day three. Hmm. Day three, we're gonna hit some back. So this time next year, bro, I'll should be a little bit bigger. Goal weight. Goal weight is 105. That's pretty fun. Surplus now, so. Anyways, deadlifts. That's what we're doing. Let's fucking get it. <laughs> All right, guys. What is up? We are back in the gym for a back workout. And it is the first time I have hit deadlifts in, I would say, probably at least three or four months. Um, this entire deficit period that I did before starting this series, I didn't do deadlifts at all. I sort of, I went between rack pulls and um, hyper extensions for my lower back. But as far as, you know, hardcore balls to the wall training like deadlifts, I didn't do it. So it's definitely, going back into a bulk, it's definitely a movement that I know I should be doing. There is no, there is no movement like it for back, um, like, you know, conventional deadlifts. I don't really fuck around with sumo deadlifts, to be honest. Um, conventional is sort of how I've always done it. But being a taller guy, I think sumo may be better for me. I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm not sure. I will be trying that in the future, but not today. So anyway, first working, well, first warm-up set was with 60. Uh, just an easy warm-up set. Second warm-up set with 100. I always go up in one plate. So I'll go up to three plates here for a third warm-up set. Um, you know, when I was cutting, when I had fuck all carbs in me, three plates felt heavy as fuck. Today, it felt okay. So what I did after this, I did this set, which is, you know, still a warm-up set, but it's still fucking hard. And I want to I wanna bring you guys back to my form once again controlling the negative rep. You're not dropping the weight. You're not jerking the weight back up. You're controlling it up and down. Whether that be tap and go, whether it be stop, start like I'm doing now, you control the weight. From here, guys, I didn't know exactly whether this was going to be a good idea or not, but I did go up to 180 kilo, and I decided to try and go for a 5 by 5 workout. 
So this is the first set. I had not held this much weight in fucking months, I'm telling you. And that first, like, I was nervous, man. My, my, you know, my heart was going fast. I didn't know how it was going to go. But at the end of the day, I did get five reps. Um, that rep was probably my cleanest, to be honest. I sort of, I reset in between each other rep and, you know, brought my ass down. I think, I think just getting used to handling this kind of weight again um, will in turn help me with my form and I'll be able to keep my ass um, further down throughout the movement because, I don't know, my form, I, I, I feel like my form's quite good to be honest, but 5x5 five five on 180 is, um, is a great starting point. And uh, I think you'll find actually I do come back to the camera in about 10 seconds and give you guys a little spiel on how I'm feeling mid workout. So we'll uh, we'll have a little listen to that and then I'll um, I'll be back to you in a minute. All right guys. A bit of mid set not mid set, between set gym talk. That last set of 5 reps which got me up to four sets of five at 180, was the, the hardest, most grindiest set I have done in months. I'm telling you, there is absolutely no way I'm gonna be able to get five reps again after that. That was an RPE of 12, not 10. So what I've done is I've dropped a plate, I've gone down to 140, so for my fifth ball wall working set, we're not gonna go five by five, we're gonna go five by, well, four by five, and one by 10. So if I can get 10 good solid reps at this weight for my last set, after everything I've already done, I'm gonna be really happy. So, we'll see what happens. All right guys, back into it. And as I said, I would be absolutely happy as Larry if I got 10 good solid reps. Last set after all that work. So let's see how we go. Once again, controlling the negative. I'm going stop start style. That's one. That's two. That's three. I'm struggling already. Let's see how we go. Five. Six. Now I'm struggling so much by this point that I'm not even making them full reps. I'm just, <laughs> I'm seriously like that. That point where you sort of get it up to your top of your thigh and then you have to lock out with your glutes, I, I just I just cannot get that at, at the moment. Like, my back is just completely fucking fried. So anyways, we did get the 10 reps done and I can't believe it. And I'm coming back to the camera right now, I do believe. If I don't make some gains from that shit, there's something wrong. So, that was deadlifts, and I will tell you what, mate, my back was absolutely fucked. But, you can't stop there, guys. Uh, but what I would say is that, you know, deadlifts, on the odd occasion, can be a great workout just by themselves. Although I tend to want to punish myself a little bit more. So with that being said, guys, I only did a second exercise or a second set of exercises. Deadlifts was first. Second was a superset between these neutral grip uh, lat pull downs like you're seeing and a rope uh, straight arm pull down. I'm not exactly sure what this uh, exercise is called actually. I, I think it's a rope straight arm pull down, targeting the lats, both of these movements targeted the lats, I was going for 6 to 10 reps on each movement, um, you know, moderate weight, as I said, my back was fucked already, and yeah, after this, uh, that was it guys, it was about a 60 minute workout all up, I don't usually spend too much longer than that in the gym, and we finished off with a nice lat spread, and um, yeah, I will see you guys in the car, post workout for a chat. Not sure if this is the right angle, but guys, we are off to the gym. What? Fucking hell. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. 
We are off to the gym, the second session of the day. It's six o'clock in the evening. I start my fourth night shift at eight o'clock tonight for 12 hours. So what that means is that I've smashed out 48 hours work. In my job, luckily I get paid by the hour, not well, I do get a salary, but I do get paid for overtime, um, which is fantastic because I know a lot of people that are on salaries that don't get paid for overtime. But what that means is that I've done 48 hours in four days, and I've, as well as obviously training, eating right, and I feel absolutely fantastic at the end of a block like that because I know I've just put in work, and now I can afford to live like, live like a bodybuilder for the next couple of days, you know? Um, no work just focus on training, eating, and that is why I love uh, shift work. And I love All right, we should be good now. So I trained back after doing a 12 hour night shift. I did get a couple hours of sleep, but not much. You know, my performance wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, uh, but I still did half of my all time goal, which is 180 kilo for 10 reps, stop start, five sets that would be absolutely fantastic and that is a, a major goal of mine to achieve in the next year would be to up my reps at 180 from 5 to 10 uh, solid good reps so anyways with that being said I've got a pre-workout drink one scoop of utopia it's about 6 in the evening it's a beautiful day beautiful evening you know not a cloud in the sky it's like that 95% of the time around here which is another reason why I actually love it around here. I mean, Alice Springs is remote, but I do have a special sort of connection to the place, and I know a lot of people do. Um, even my age, you know, like, usually that takes years and years to develop, but living in a place like Alice Springs um, really does open your eyes to to a whole new world and a, a new way of living, and it's, it is a fantastic way of living. It's an easy life, man. Like, the gym is five minutes down the road. Everyone's five minutes away. Like, you don't you don't sit in traffic, there is no traffic. There's like four traffic lights in town, but you've, in, in saying that, you've still got everything. Like you've got your Kmart, you've got your Target, McDonald's, KFC, all of that shit. And really, like, if you've got all of that, I'd rather live in a beautiful, you know, quiet, perfect weather little place than a massive major city. I'm just being real, so. Anyways guys, those are some thoughts of mine. We are off to the gym. I'm gonna go and do some triceps because I have about an hour uh, spare, so that will be an awesome workout. My arms are measuring about 16 inches cold, flexed at the moment, so another major goal of mine by the end of this is to get them up to 17 inches. I haven't given them a chance to grow over the, over the last two years. You know, they developed really well from about 14, no, probably about 14 and a half was my, my smallest, um, up to about 16 within, you know, a couple of years. And I thought, holy shit, you know, 17 inches is gonna happen easy. Well, that was at the start of 2014, and from there, like I've said in a previous video, I, I haven't really made any gains, so that is the fundamental reason behind this series, is the fact that I've just yo-yoed too much, and I need something to keep me accountable for one whole year, and I think I'm gonna make some good gains. So, Arms Day, always feels good after Arms Day. I will see you guys when we're done. I'm not gonna take any footage. It's far too busy in there at the moment, so. I feel awkward enough with a tripod at the best of times, let alone at five o'clock at night. So, I'll see you guys soon. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way.